Hi all, welcome back. Um, what you see here, uh, this is part three, by the way. And what you see here is I'm going to talk about ISIS and Mossad and CIA, Al Qaeda, and what do they have to do anything at all over there in the Middle East with this war in Iraq? and how it's going to affect us in a way and what does it mean in both prophecy. Well, what they're doing is to create uh, an Islamic State, one Islamic State or region, um, because in the, in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, as you recall that dream that Nebuchadnezzar had, I had a dream of a statue of himself, and it, his head was gold, which is, represents the head of Babylon, and his, the chest of, uh, of silver, which is the medial Persia, and then the belly was uh, Greece, and then, um, then on down it went from, from the Roman Empire. Each piece on the statue represented an empire. And when he got down to the bottom, to the feet and the toes, the ten toes, uh, which was made of iron and clay, and so it was like a mixture of the strong nations and the weaker nations. And those ten regions made up the, uh, the ten that you see here in this coin. This coin was minted in 2009. And it's a real silver coin. It's a one troy ounce, 9.9 percent fine silver. Was minted in 2009. And you see here, uh, on this side, of uh, it is the New World Order here. And you see the the all-seeing eye and the pyramid. And so it's. So that this is the same one that's on our dollar bill, in the United States dollar bill. And I hate that. I always hated that image on, on the dollar bill. Every time I see it, when I fold, I do fold it. I fold it the other way, so I don't have to look at it. <laughs> anyway, uh, and it says here, honest weights for honest men, really. Uh, when is anybody in the, at least for the New World Order, and honest, right? Well, over here, you have the, what they call the Ten World Regions. And down here, you have the post change. Eighth is 666. Yeah, you got it right there, 666. That's, that number is in the Bible. And that's who's going to rule over these Ten World Regions of, of the Earth. Is, is the Antichrist, whose number is 666. Okay, uh, the number one here, you see that number one? Okay, where is that positioned at? Okay, that is there over Israel. And the next two is the number five. So actually, the, actually the number five or the fifth region is has to do with the Islamic Middle East region there. Okay, uh, so I was going to try to do these in order. So number one is Israel. Okay. And my question was a while back was was it to be the the world capital the superpower of this one world order? Well, Satan mocks everything. He copies everything. What God? What belongs to God? And what is God? Uh, the God of our Lord in heaven and uh, the Father of our our own. Uh, only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, he mocks and copies everything. Okay. Uh, here we've got number two here is the European Union. Number three is the North American Union, which used to be the United States, unfortunately. Whatever's going to be left of it. Number four is the Russian region here. And number five again is the Islamic Middle Eastern region here. Free sea parts of Arabia. 
um, for the Arab nations. Okay. Number six is the Pacific region, uh, which has to do with Japan and all the other islands around there. Uh, number seven is South America. Uh, number eight is Asian. Number nine is Australian. And number ten will be Africa. And that's your ten regions. Okay, the reason that I uh, showed you this, want to show you this coin is how it's all going to be set up and the reason why all this comes into play in regards to ISIS. Well, when I saw the word ISIS, I thought, well, this is just a blatant word that actually is so occultic that they are uh, in their process of uh, taking, what, what is taking place is a human sacrifice because their plan is to de depopulate the earth. And this is their way of doing it. Muslims are killing Muslims. Really. Uh, as you see here that ISIS steals 429 million from the central bank after they catch a Mosul. It's all signs is that they are uh, wanting to bring uh, Iraq and Syria under subjection of the New World Order. And they want control of the gold. And the reason why they're um, starting another war over there is has to do with oil. All control of the gold and the resources. That's the globalist plan. So it's, all this is a, really a bunch of lies that is going on to actually um, indoctrinate you guys into this. So it's just basically just... Um, you just ignore what basically what all this this um, garbage is really going on, and know exact actually what they are. They are uh, wanting human sacrifice because of the name ISIS, because that's who they worship. Uh, because they are uh, they do not worship the one true God, so they're worshiping you know, some kind of a. Uh, a feminine type God like a homosexual type God so basically is what the Islam religion is uh, pushing is a kind of a homosexual um, type of religion which is really sick uh, also mentioned uh, in with Isis is and because there's uh, like a lot of mentions about uh, Al Qaeda uh, and, um, let's see, yeah, Iran owes Al-Qaeda and Vitaly says that ISIS spokesman says, and I'll leave all links, uh, to this, uh, it's, uh, a war blog, and basically when they start these wars, they say it's to, uh, push the economy, which it isn't. Our economy is going under, guys. Uh, it's predicted that sometime this year, uh, our economy is going to go further down. There could be possibly an economic crash because of all this. And uh, because of their, their pagan worship of these false gods, uh, they're bringing judgment down on us heavy. And we need to oust them out of the country. Uh, as, um, is it, where did I find that? Where is it? I don't think I have it. <laughs> but anyway, what I was going to say is that, uh, it was, um, from, well, it was just something that w was bought up that, who was it? The government was telling the Muslims to leave the country. I think it was ISIS was telling them because they're over here in this country and they're wanting to they warn the Muslims to leave this country before it was being nuked. <laughs> ah. Boy, isn't that something? 
and for uh, Mossad and the CIA, they murdered the United States tr troops in Iraq. I'll leave this link, and it was just sickening, really. And all the foreigners are coming over here to escape all this madness. And where can we keep them? I mean, we're having a hard time keeping ourselves here above water. And, um, um, like I mentioned too about the children coming over from Mexico. And that was also done by the United States government. So they're going to make us a third world country. And that's all really part, well, this all craziness is over is to be part of the new world order well no thanks uh what was this okay al-qaeda al-qaeda is just a code name for Mossad and cia because they're all involved in it and they're all satanic and if it makes you mad that i'm mentioning Mossad or satanic they are uh because they uh, dabble in human sacrifice and sorcery and and God's going to judge not only America uh, but the whole world as well and he's going to judge America m more harshly because they're allowing all these things to happen can we stop it? no we can't because the Bible prophesied this a long time ago. And uh, says, well, ISIS create an Al Sham Caliph and liberate Palestine. Yeah, well, it's all part of the New World Order. Uh, like I said, the coin that I showed is. They're just going to make it ten regions, and the Daniel prophecy will also uh, be fulfilled. And the ISIS leader says, I will see you in New York. So that just goes to show that they let anything in America. And they have the nukes all set up. It's just always going to be a matter of time. And... The uh, originally a branch of Al Qaeda active in Iraq, ISIS joined the fight against the regime, the uh, Syria regime, and uh, it saw ISIS to break with the global terror network. So they're all working together uh, to uh, bring in the new world order. So, I've repeated this a number of times because this, this is what, how it's going to end up. Uh, right on the silver coin. So, uh, maybe I could just end this one here. Or this, uh, this discussion, which is in three parts. And um, this guy uh, says that he was a target... Uh, of the United States government um, he was a top terrorist target and uh, he tells why that he that that why they were joining ISIS so actually it's they're going to create a one big region Islamic State to you got it <laughs> and so I'll just leave all the links to all these articles and you can just you know do your own research, you know, figure it out for your, yourself that what they are planning to do. And I also have some information there for next time about Planet X and that it will be coming in August of 2014. And that's what I'm looking at for right now. So, uh, I think that's about it. And that will be my next subject because, uh, Yo, know, there's going to be some other catastrophic events as well. So I want to end it here and say y'all take care and y'all have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon. Until next time, Jesus loves you all. If you don't know Jesus today, give your life to him today. Because time is short. Like I said, we only have less than four years until probation. And God will close the door. Take care. Bye-bye.